Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book Stop Walking on Eggshells, a creation by Paul T. Mason and Randy Krager. Stop Walking on Eggshells, 1998, provides a lifeline for people supporting individuals with borderline personality disorder. It presents techniques based on empathy to set healthy boundaries while still offering support. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Paul T. Mason, VP of Clinical Services at Wheaton Franciscan Healthcare, focuses on enhancing mental health services for individuals with borderline personality disorder. A noted researcher on BPD, his work has been featured in academic and mainstream publications. Randy Krieger, a best-selling author and publisher, specializes in borderline personality disorder and has authored several books, including The Essential Family Guide to Borderline Personality Disorder. Additional resources are available on her website, stopwalkingoneggshells.com. With five key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, tips on understanding and managing relationships with someone who has borderline personality disorder. Learn techniques from Stop Walking on Eggshells to navigate relationships with individuals suffering from borderline personality disorder. Discover evidence-based strategies to maintain stability, address emotional outbursts, and avoid enabling conflicts. Focus on creating healthy boundaries, enhancing self-awareness, and prioritizing self-care in tumultuous relationships. Key idea number one, a brief overview of borderline personality disorder and its key points. Ken grew up with a mother likely having borderline personality disorder, impacting his ability to form close relationships. BPD is a complex psychiatric condition involving emotion regulation issues and unstable relationships. Personality disorders are enduring dysfunctional patterns of behavior, often emerging in adolescence. BPD sufferers struggle with self-identity, leading to difficulties in maintaining stable relationships. Despite stigma, understanding the root of BPD symptoms is crucial. Key idea number two, brief overview of common borderline personality disorder traits. People with borderline personality disorder, BPD, exhibit fear of abandonment, unstable relationships, impulsivity, extreme mood swings, self-harming behaviors, and feelings of helplessness. Their behavior is rooted in deep panic, not deceit. Recovery from BPD is possible through therapy and dedication to change, allowing for healthier relationships and alleviating suffering. Key idea number three. The text discusses initial actions for improving a relationship. Authors Mason and Krieger suggest being cautious when discussing BPD with someone, as they may react negatively. They recommend gently encouraging seeking professional help for a diagnosis. If the person is already seeking help, it may be appropriate to share your observations in a non-blaming way. Focus on improving the relationship and your own well-being rather than changing the person with BPD. Key idea number four, staying firm and resolute. Setting boundaries is crucial when dealing with loved ones with borderline personality disorder, BPD. Boundaries help maintain self-protection and clarity on acceptable behavior. Finding a balance between flexibility and firmness in boundaries is important to engage compassionately without getting engulfed in their issues. Boundaries are not about controlling behavior, but honoring personal needs for safety and respect. Boundaries should be clearly communicated and upheld, even if it means removing oneself from a situation that crosses the line, ultimately benefiting both parties in the relationship. Key idea number five. The text indicates that the journey is ongoing. The text discusses ways to cope with a loved one who has borderline personality disorder, BPD. It emphasizes the importance of self-care, setting boundaries, and focusing on one's own well-being. It highlights the need to maintain a strong sense of identity and values, communicate needs clearly, and not take the other person's behavior personally. 
seeking external support, addressing personal issues, and prioritizing self-improvement are also key points in navigating relationships with individuals with BPD. Ultimately, the focus is on improving one's own life rather than trying to change the other person. In conclusion, dealing with a loved one with borderline personality disorder is challenging due to their intense emotions and pain. Recovery is possible with professional help, but it is not your direct responsibility. Focus on nurturing your own emotional health, setting boundaries, and avoiding enabling behaviors. Seek support, self-care, and maintain your identity outside the relationship. Control your responses and prioritize your growth and resilience. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories, and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.